Let's take a look at the setting. The play begins on February 15th, the annual celebration of Lupercalia in 44 BC. This is the day Caesar returns to Rome from defeating Pompey, another powerful Roman leader in the Civil War. Now we'll examine the characters of the scene. Marlis and Flavius are two tribunes, meaning government officials, who supported Pompey in the Civil War. Angered by the commoners' support over Caesar's victory, they scold the men and tell them to cry until the Tiber River overflows to repent for their disloyal actions. The other characters are the cobbler, which is a shoemaker, and other commoners who should be working. Instead, they are honoring Caesar and celebrating his victorious return from home. Although he is just a common man, the cobbler demonstrates his witty character through his use of puns that go over the heads of the high-class tribunes. So what does this reveal about the initial conflict in the play? The issue really isn't between Morellus and Flavius and the commoners. The problem lies with the different political forces happening in Rome at this time. Many senators sided with Pompey and are outraged over his death and Caesar's growing power as a single ruler. On the other side, many common folk adore Caesar and are in favor of his authority. As we continue to read and discuss the play, keep the setting, characters, and their actions, and the conflict in your mind.